Mr. Chairman, in episode of episode five of, of Joe versus Carol that I've never watched in my life, um, the candidate for, excuse me, the, the, the actor for Carol Baskin is quoted as saying, this is starting to get a little woo-hoo. And I think her point is that, is that it, it's crazy, it's insane what's happening right now. Um, Mr. Chairman, we're, we're in a situation where uh, we're in the committee with jurisdiction over energy. This committee has jurisdiction over natural resources. And we are sitting here in this committee and, and we're dealing with a truth commission, we're dealing with land transfers, we're, we're dealing with, uh, I, I mean, the, 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 I'll put it this way. There's not a single constituent in, in, in the months and months and months that, that we've been traveling around our district that has said, I want you to do a single one of these bills. Not, not a single constituent. Mr. Chairman, the President of the United States is going to get on an airplane, get on Air Force One with all the emissions, and he's going to travel 13 hours and 40 minutes. He's going to travel 6,736 miles to go to Saudi Arabia to go negotiate oil coming from Saudi Arabia to the United States to help bring down the absurd energy prices that Ranking Member Westerman brought up before. Now, being the environmentally conscious person that I am, not to mention representing, I don't know, the United States, We've, we've calculated some closer places he could go where you can find energy. And by the way, this employs Americans and puts money in our pockets rather than in, in the Saudi Arabia. You can come down to my home state. I do it every week. It's about 1,000 miles. You can go to California, where I'm sure Mr. Huffman would love to have you all come. Nearly less than 2,500 miles. They have energy there. You can go to North Dakota. You, you can go to Ohio, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma. I was in the Permian last week. You've got energy all over the place, and, and, and thank you, thank you. Um, they're, they're being invited to, to Colorado as well. That's right, y'all have energy in Montana. Now look, these are, these, are various, these are various reports. The President of the United States is gonna go to Saudi Arabia, as I mentioned, he's gonna go to Venezuela, he's gonna go to Iran. And, and of course, the, the White House says that OPEC action's not enough, we're gonna get, we're gonna get the Federal Trade Commission involved as well. Look, Mr. Chairman, this isn't rocket science. We had low energy prices, and let me reiterate to those of you that care about the environment, and we had lower emissions. We had lower emissions. Get the Senate letter, Senate letter. We had lower emissions under the previous administration. Low prices and lower emissions. Now, roll your eyes, call me out on it, fact check it, I dare you. This president has resulted in higher emissions, unaffordable energy prices, and energy security that's a complete disaster. The Senate letter, we don't have it. Okay, this is, this is January 27th of last year. Look, you, you've said several times before, I'm not the smartest person in this body or in this committee, and I agree with you, I'm not, I'm not. Yep, January 27th of last year, this is what we posted. We're gonna result in higher, like, last year, January of last year, higher electricity prices, higher prices of gas pump, lost revenue sharing for hurricane protection, coastal restoration, Higher delivery costs passed on to consumers, more dependence on foreign energy, a net increase in global emissions. I'll say it again, when, and you remind me usually at each markup, I'm not the smartest person in this room, but I could look at this administration's policies and tell where we were going. This is a complete disaster, that one. Here's one of our constituents, sent this to us totally unprompted. I'm on fixed income, my wife works full time. It's gotten so bad with gas prices, it's almost not worth my wife working. We're struggling to make our bills because everything is so high. Can you please fight as hard as you can to lower gas prices, especially with our state being an oil and gas state? Your constituents are hurting. This is David from Denham Springs, Louisiana. Mr. Chairman, what in the world are we doing? What in the world are we doing in this committee? Sitting here, spending time doing this kind of stuff. This is a complete, complete waste of time in regard to the true priorities, the true priorities of Americans across the country. But I'll tell you what, Mr. Chairman, don't, don't take my word for it. Here's a Democrat congressman from California. Voters are beyond furious. It's called desperation. I don't hear anything about other national issues we're focusing on in Washington. The thing I hear about is gasoline. What are you doing to bring down the gas prices? This is trashing our economy, it's trashing our country. Therefore, amendment number two is an amendment that helps to ensure that gas prices come down. I urge adoption of the amendment yield back.